On October 9th, a video surfaced believed to depict Israeli helicopters engaged in operations near the Gaza Strip. As per information shared on X, formerly known as Twitter, the video shows Israeli AH-64 Apache attack helicopters targeting Hamas militants using a 30mm chain gun and Hellfire missiles. The footage captures the helicopters successfully engaging in eliminating various targets associated with Hamas militants. Obviously, this is only one of many instances which have actually made it into the public domain. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how American origin Israeli Apache AH-64 is decimating Hamas. Let's get into the details. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Boeing AH-64 Apache is an American twin turboshaft attack helicopter with a tailwheel-type landing gear arrangement and a tandem cockpit for a crew of two. It features a nose-mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and night vision systems. The AH-64 has significant systems redundancy to improve combat survivability. It has a range of 300 miles or 482 kilometers and a top speed of 182 miles per hour or 293 kilometers per hour. The AH-64 has a maximum vertical rate of climb of 1,775 feet per minute, 541 meters per minute, and a service ceiling of 21,000 feet or 6,400 meters. It's adaptable to numerous different roles within its context as Close Combat Attack CCA. Apache comes with a 30mm M230 chain gun with 1,200 rounds of ammunition. Either the pilot or the gunner can use this gun by just pointing it at the target and firing it. This is possible due to IHADSS and makes attacking with the gun a very intuitive and seamless experience. Four hard points are present that can be equipped with the following. One, the Hydra 70 rocket, which is a 2.75-inch, fin-stabilized, unguided rocket. It's mainly used for air-to-ground attacks. It has a range of 8 kilometers or 5 miles. 2. Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, APKWS, 70 mm which is an upgrade of Hydra 70. It has a laser guidance kit to turn them into precision-guided munitions. 3. AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missile. Its variant can be deployed for anti-armor use as well as precision strikes against other target types. The maximum range of this missile is 11 kilometers or 7 miles. 4. AIM-92 Stinger air-to-air -air missile. It has a range of 8 kilometers or 5 miles. A standard configuration for an armor mission will have 16 Hellfire missiles on four four-rail launchers. Each is capable of taking out a tank. The covering force mission configuration will have eight Hellfire missiles along with 38 Hydra or APKWS rockets, whereas the escort mission will have 76 Hydra or APKWS. Air-to-air -air missiles will be loaded for specific scenarios. Since its introduction in April 1986, many variants of the platform have been developed. Israel maintains two squadrons of U.S.-manufactured Apache helicopters at the Ramon Air Base in the Negev Desert. These two squadrons are distinct in their helicopter models and nomenclature. The 113th Squadron, commonly called Seraph, handles the AH-64D choppers, 
Well, the 190th Squadron, known as Patton or Cobra, operates the AH-64A model. Over the years, Israel has used Apaches against its enemies. During the 1990s, Israeli AH-64As frequently attacked Hezbollah outposts in Lebanon. IAF Apaches played a prominent role in the 2006 Lebanon War. The Apache helicopter continues to be a crucial asset for the Israeli Air Force, serving as a pivotal element in its capacity to engage a wide range of targets. This importance was emphasized in June 2023, as Israel deployed Apache attack helicopters in the West Bank for the first time in over two decades during a military operation in Jenin. The AH-64 Apache is known as one of the world's most advanced multi-role attack helicopters. It's an excellent platform and is particularly very useful in repelling any armored thrust. The scenario for Israel is different. Hamas has very limited armored platforms. In this case, Apache is being used almost like a flying tank to suppress Hamas firepower as Israeli ground troops move in. The top-down view from the Helos is very useful in an urban environment, especially since Hamas has established a very intricate tunnel network in Gaza. While Hamas has received weapons from Iran and Hezbollah that could pose a threat, the excellent know-how of Israeli military leadership in planning and execution will mean that there's limited risk in deploying the Helos against Hamas. Technically, Hamas can't do much against Apache, and slow but surely, it will take a huge toll. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.